Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about monetary policy for CA Foundation. Monetary policy is a process in which central bank of country control money supply, availability of money and cost of money such as interest rate in order to maintain stability in economy. Monetary policy is a process in which Central bank of country control money supply, availability of money and cost of money such as interest rate in order to maintain stability in economy. Now we will see objectives of monetary policy. Price stability. Through monetary policy, central bank try to maintain price stability. For example, in order to cure inflation, central bank reduce money supply. As money supply reduce, demand re reduce, prices reduce, eventually inflation can be in control. On the other hand, in case of deflation, central bank increase money supply. As money supply increase, demand increase, prices also increase, eventually deflation will disappear from economy. Economic growth through monetary policy, central bank reduce interest rate. As interest rate reduce, investment increase. As investment increase, output increase, employment increase, income increase. Eventually, our economy grow. Reduce unemployment through monetary policy. Central bank increase money supply in economy. As money supply increase, the business activities also increase. When business activity increase, they provide jobs to more people. As a result, unemployment also reduce. Reduction in economic inequality. Economic inequality is a gap between rich and poor. In order to reduce this gap through monetary policy, central bank provide low interest rate loans to weaker section of society so that they can start their small scale business. Obviously, this will help to reduce economic inequality. Maintain equilibrium in balance of payment. As we know, deficit in balance of payment means import are more than export. Through monetary policies, central bank of country try to increase export. As export increase, eventually import and export become equal to each other. As a result, we can achieve equilibrium in balance of payment through monetary policy. Now we will see channels of monetary policy transmission. First is saving and investment channel. That means monetary policy influences saving and investment. But how monetary policy influences saving and investment? For example, through monetary policy, central bank reduce interest rate. But lower interest rate will reduce household saving in banks. Why we save our money in banks at very low interest rate? Obviously, if we are not saving our money in banks, we will use this money for buying goods and services. As a result, our expenditure will increase. So, by this way, monetary policy influences saving. On the other hand, low interest rate will encourage household and businesses to borrow more money from banks. Obviously, now cost of borrow money is very less. That's why household and businesses will borrow more money from banks. So, we can say that at low interest rate, businesses will borrow more money from banks for investment purpose. At lower interest rate, businesses will borrow more money from banks for investment purpose. As a result, investment will increase in economy. So, by this way, monetary policy also influence investment. So, we can say that monetary policy influence both saving as well as investment. Second is cash flow channel. That means monetary policy influence amount of cash available to household and businesses. Monetary policy influence amount of cash available to household and businesses. For example, last year you were paying 5,000 as an interest rate to banks. But in this year, central bank through monetary policy reduce interest rate. That's why in this year you are just paying 4500 as a interest rate. Difference between 5000 and 4500 is equal to 500. This 500 rupees means now you have more availability of cash. 
you can use this 500 rupees for investment purpose or you can buy some goods and services. So why this way monetary policy influence availability of cash for household and businesses. Next is asset price and wealth channel. That means monetary policy influence prices of assets and wealth of individual. But how? Suppose through monetary policy, central bank reduce interest rate and lower interest rate will encourage people to buy more money from banks in order to buy their assets like home. As a result, demand of asset increase, a demand of asset increase, that means prices of asset will also increase. And a high asset price lead to increase in wealth of both household and businesses. Plus, in future, they can use their asset as a collateral for uh, taking loans from banks. So, by this way, monetary policy influence uh, asset prices and wealth of individual. Next is exchange rate channel. That means monetary policy affect value of currency and international trade. But how monetary policy affect value of currency and international trade? Suppose through monetary policy, central bank reduce interest rate. But lower interest rate lead to currency depreciation. Currency depreciation means value of our currency fall. But why lower interest rate reduce value of our currency? Because at low interest rate, a foreigner will not invest in our country. Foreign investment will reduce at low interest rate. If foreign investment reduce, that means demand for our currency reduce. If demand for our currency reduce, that means value of our currency reduce. That's why lower interest rate lead to currency depreciation. But currency depreciation will increase our export and reduce our import. But how? Currency depreciation increase our export because now our currency become cheaper for other countries people. That's why they do more demand for our currency. But our import fall because now we have to pay more money in order to buy currency of other uh, countries. That's why currency depreciation will increase our export but reduce our import. So by this way, monetary policy impact uh, value of currency and international trade. Now we'll see quantitative tools of monetary policy. Quantitative tools of monetary policy impact money supply in entire economy. First uh, quantitative tool is a reserve ratio. Reserve ratio mainly divided into two parts, cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio. As we know, commercial bank work under regulation and supervision of central bank. And so many people deposit their money in commercial bank. Cash reserve ratio means some percentage of commercial bank deposit, which they have to keep with the central bank in form of cash only. Cash reserve ratio is some percentage of commercial bank deposit which they have to keep with the central bank in form of cash only. For example, total deposit of commercial bank is 1 crore and they have to keep 10% with the central bank in form of cash only. It will be called cash reserve ratio. Statutory liquidity ratio means minimum percentage of commercial bank deposit which they have to maintain with themselves in form of cash, gold and security means these cash, gold and security they have to maintain with themselves. They cannot use this cash, gold and security for credit purpose. One most important thing, statutory liquidity ratio commercial bank need to maintain with themselves. But in case of cash reserve ratio, commercial bank need to keep some cash with the central bank. Next quantitative tool is open market operation. Open market operation means buying and selling government securities by a central bank in order to control money supply. Open market operation means buying and selling government securities by a central bank in order to control money supply. For example, if central bank want to increase money supply, then it will start buying security from market. As a result, market will receive money. Eventually, money supply will increase in market. On the other hand, if central bank want to reduce money supply, then it will start selling security in market. As a result, money from market will come to central bank. Eventually, money supply will reduce in market. Now, we will see qualitative tools. 
qualitative tools impact a specific sector of economy, not entire economy. First qualitative tool is marginal requirement. That means central bank set marginal requirement against collateral which impact borrowing habits of consumer. And we can calculate marginal requirement when we minus value of loans granted from value of security offer for loans. For example, value of security offer for loans is 1 crore and value of loan granted is 80 lakh. Difference between 1 crore and 80 lakh is equal to 20 lakh. This 20 lakh will be called marginal requirement. If central bank want to reduce money supply, then it will increase marginal requirement. If marginal requirement increase, people will take less loans. Eventually, money supply will reduce. Next qualitative tools is moral suasion. Under moral suasion, central bank simply try to persuade commercial bank to adopt changes rather than imposing any rules and regulation. Under moral suasion, central bank simply try to persuade commercial bank to adopt changes rather than imposing any rules and regulation. For example, central bank meet with commercial bank and explain whole economic condition nowadays. There is so much inflation, already more money in economy, that's why don't give loans to so many people. Next is selective credit control, that means controlling credit by not lending to selective industries or speculative business. For example, central bank says to commercial bank during this time period, don't give loans to speculative businesses or don't give loans to industries which only think about their own profit, don't think about welfare of society or central bank also says to commercial bank only give loans to industrial sector, agriculture sector or a non-profit organization. It will be called selective credit controlling that means controlling credit by not lending to selective industries or lending to selective industry. Now we will see market stabilization schemes of monetary policy. First market stabilization scheme is a bank rate. As we know commercial bank borrow money from central bank and bank rate is the interest rate that central bank charge while lending money to commercial bank. Bank rate is the interest rate that central bank charge while lending money to commercial bank. Next market stabilization scheme is Liquidity adjustment facility. Liquidity adjustment facility mainly have three types. Repo rate, reverse repo rate and marginal standing facility. Repo rate. Repo rate is a rate at which commercial bank borrow money from central bank on short term basis. Repo rate is a rate at which commercial bank borrow money from central bank on short term basis. Don't confuse between repo rate and bank rate. In case of repo rate, commercial bank have to keep government security with the central bank as a collateral. But in case of bank rate, commercial bank need not to keep any security with the central bank. And repo rate is short term basis, fulfill immediate requirement and very less organized. On the other hand, the bank rate is long term basis and more organized. Next is reverse repo rate. Reverse repo rate is the interest rate that central bank pay to commercial bank for the money which they deposit with the central bank. Reverse repo rate is the interest rate that central bank pay to commercial bank for the money which they deposit with the central bank. And reverse repo rate is equal to repo rate minus 1. That means reverse repo rate will always less than repo rate. Next is a marginal standing facility. Marginal standing facility is a penal rate. Penal rate means a penalty or we can say that extra charge which central bank taking from commercial bank. So marginal standing facility is a penal rate at which Central bank lends money to commercial bank higher than repo rate. That means marginal standing facility is higher than repo rate. That's why marginal standing facility rate is equal to repo rate plus 1. That means 
एम एस एफ विल ऑलवेज हायर देन रेपो रेट दिस वन परसेंट इज एक्स्ट्रा चार्जेज और वी कैन दिस वन परसेंट इज पेनैलिटी विच इज इम्पोज बाय सेंट्रल बैंक टू कमर्शियल बैंक सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट मोनिटरी पॉलिसी आई थिंक यू गोट इट एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो बाई टेक केयर